virtue of listening. Why listening? Because God created us with one mouth and two ears and two eyes. But a lot of times we use our mouth, the privilege of speaking, to block all the other senses. And so today, I'd like to reflect with you the virtue of listening. Because for me, listening is the key to become anybody you want. To become a great preacher, teacher, to become a great parent, to become a great leader out there. Because without listening, we can do nothing. We can say nothing right and meaningful. Without listening, you do, but you might destroy more than you build up. The Lala Ma said, when you speak, you only speak what you already knew. But when you listen, you will learn something new. So today, do you and I want to learn something new? Or we keep speaking and talking what we already knew and maybe people already heard so many times. I believe that we need more good listeners than even good speakers today. Think about your families, your classroom and your school, even in your church. I have to remind myself, speak enough and shut up. Allow people to speak. And so allow me to say a few more words and then I'll shut up. Listening is learning. As a human person, we need to learn in order to grow and to become better every day. So what is listening? First, listening with agenda and listening without agenda. When you listen to someone with agenda in your mind, you don't listen. You want to defend yourself and you want to wait for your turn to present your agenda rather to listen to that person. How can we listen and allow that person to finish his or her sentences or thoughts or ideas? The second one is called passive listening and active listening. Today, when we're talking about passive, even during our dinner, we eat and we play on our technology, texting somebody and checking email, we don't listen. It's so annoying, right? It is so disrespectful. But we did that all the time. Sometimes I was in a church praying in, in front of a Eucharist, uh, for a Eucharist oration, I check my phone because I can't wait to answer the phone. So active listening, you need to keep your eyes open, your ears open, all your senses open, your body language open. That's how active it is. And then third one I call listening to learn and listening to criticize. How many times we're listening so that we criticize that person instead of learning from that person. And so think about all this in our dynamics of our political discussion, religious discussion, our daily conversation. I hope that there's just a reminder for us to improve our virtue of listening. How? How do you listen? We listen to learn by using all senses and talents we have. So use your eyes, your ears, your taste, your touch, your thinking, your prayer, your feeling, your imagination, 
all this involved in your listening. When and where should you listen? A listener can listen everywhere and anytime because God always speaks to us in all circumstances. And in fact, the best time is when we hit the bottom, when we face difficulties in life, when we have conflicts. Maybe God sends us a message there. So don't give up on listening. You can listen while you pray, while you cook, while you study, while you drive, even while you're arguing with one another, while you're eating, while you're drinking. All this teaching us something about life. God can reveal God's mystery in this moment. God can cause you to do something bigger, to live beyond your life at that moment. And so I invite you to practice this virtue, listening. What is the fruit I call wheat of listening here? If you're listening, you learn new things every day. You do not get old. Did you know that? You're always enjoying life. You are very creative. You have a lot of good teachers and friends. You can hear God's voice and God's will. You can easily reconcile with others. You can improve yourself quickly and you truly make a difference in the world. And so may God bless you with all the senses you have and listen well.